What's going on you guys? So listen, before we get into this vlog, I am giving you an opportunity to win not one, but two giveaways but only one person can win. I'm giving you that opportunity. Just listen to the details throughout this video and you already know who's doing it. Go see it. Dossier is doing this, you guys. So listen up. If you don't know, now you know, or you about to know. <laughs> nah, but Dossier, you guys, they basically take scents and they reproduce it. So your high-end luxury scents, they reproduce it at a great price. So you can pay $39 versus paying like $52.80, okay? Because I know y'all been trying to smell like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and uh, Dolce and Cabana, but listen, Dossier got you, all right? Dossier got you. No, they don't have Gucci and Dolce & Cabana. They got stuff like Woody Sage. They got stuff like uh, Floral Pear and so many other options and choices, all right? Now, if you get three bottles, you can get free shipping. Just go ahead and just put that out there. So if you don't want to get two bottles, you want to get three bottles, you want to do your thing. Now, you guys, these are just the products that I'm going to be reviewing today on this video before we get into the vlog so i have woody sage i'm gonna let you know what that smell like and i got floral pear and i'm gonna let you know what that smell like too now i do want to let you know you guys that dossier is a risk-free company now they did make some slight changes just to help out our environment you know what i'm saying so you know how like i told you these sample bottles come in the box yeah they're going away with the sample bottles but it's okay you can still open up your big bottle you guys which is going to be in your box you can still open up your big bottle and test it out and if you do not like it you got a 30 day period to get a 100% refund but I promise you girl you're going to like it so this Woody Sage oh I got to put that in the right nostril hold on so you know how like, cause you know I am a part of the LGBT community. So you know how like your stud daddies be trying to, you know, smell all good and stuff. And they don't really do perfume, but they do cologne. This is what your stud daddy gonna wear. Girl. It smell like your stud daddy just took you to the mall. Y'all just walk by the cigar shop. You know what I'm saying? Y'all walk by the cigar shop to go into, uh, what's that store? Hold on. Edge, you know how Edge got all the, the cute dresses, the cute tops, all the club wear. Yeah, girl, you and your sugar daddy walking to Edge to get you your club outfit right before y'all go walk in a shoe store to go get your Jordans and your Nikes and your Adidas and your whatever other sneaker you like. But this right here, this Woody Sage. This what your sugar daddy gonna wear to take you shopping, boo. So, whether it's the sugar daddy that's buying it for yourself or if it's the sugar mama that's buying it for your sugar daddy, if you trying to go shopping, you better get that Woody Sage. And you can use my discount code JBOB10 to get 10% off. Now, this is your first time on Dossier's website. You're gonna get a welcome offer, which gives you 20%, which gives you a total of 30% off. And not only that, but if you get three bottles, like I said again, you're gonna get three shipping out. Don't tell everybody. Tell some people, don't, don't tell everybody. Now, let me get into my second scent, which is the floral pear. Ooh. But hold on, wait a minute, hold up. Shit. Mm. This gave me good morning, beautiful. Breakfast in bed, honey. Let's go get a smoothie right after that. Yeah, this is what this gives me. You know, you get breakfast in the in the bed. That's just, you know what I'm saying, something light to put on your stomach. So you got your fruit, your pear, your pineapples, your strawberries, a little grit, maybe a little egg whipped up, fried hard, however you like your breakfast. But then you go to the smoothie shop to get the fulfilling meal. But whatever, whatever you're doing in your morning activities, both of you, both of y'all, the sugar mama and the sugar daddy got on the floral pair. This is what I get from it. I'm trying to tell y'all this is what I envision and what I see. So if you're trying to get like me, you're trying to get that bread, that the lead. Peace out. You're going to get that floral pair. I hope that you guys enjoy this. Oh, wait, before I end this, how are you going to win the giveaway? Hmm, let's see. So I'm gonna go about choosing one winner to win both of these. From them to me, from me to you, I 
I will need you to first make sure you are following Dossier on Instagram and you have to take a screenshot and you have to send me the proof, all right? Only on Instagram, send me all of your proof on Instagram. The second thing that you have to do is be following all three of my Instagram accounts. That's First Lady Moves, J underscore Fitness underscore Vibes, and then last you have to be following Big Period underscore Apparel. You have to be following all three of my Instagram accounts, screenshot them, show proof, and also you need to be following Dossier, Instagram, screenshot, show proof. I will send both of these to one person. From me to you. From Dossier to me to you. All right, you guys, enjoy the rest of this video. Peace. Good morning, J Squad, Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know, welcome back to J Bob. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's a freaking vlog. Let's get it. You know the vibes. It's J. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. But like I am like low-key rushing to my appointment. I have an appointment today. I decided to vlog today because I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. And you guys, I'm sorry for the sunlight. Just let me be great. Hold on, maybe my sunroof will help. No. Anywho, <laughs> like let's get serious because this is serious. I have an ear appointment today at like, I think it's like an ear, nose, and throat type of doctor situation. Y'all, something wrong with my ear. Something been wrong with my ear for like the past, mm, who's counting? I'll say two years. I think two years. Shit that son. Hold on, get my shades. Y'all, I'm driving with one hand. It's not safe. Hold on. Full bus and shit. I thought the kids was quarantining. Leg came off my tripod. Shit. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good now. Before I even get into this video, you guys, and let you guys know why I'm going to the ear doctor and why I'm getting my ear checked out, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, you guys, just in case a bitch don't come out the door with two ears. Nah, it's, I need to stop playing. But do subscribe to my channel, you guys. Please uh, give this video a like. Please put your comments down below. If you can also relate to me and maybe you have the same symptoms as me, I don't know. But basically for the past, I will say like two years, and if I'm capping or if I'm exaggerating because I can be a little dramatic, a year for sure. But my ear, it just feels as if like water's in it. You know how water get in your ear? And you know how like it sounds as if water will come out your ear like burp, 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 burp. Stop it. Get some help. Or however it may sound. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know how water sound coming out your ear, but it just sounds as if something's in my ear. Like, does it feel like it's liquid? Does it sound like it's liquid? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it has like three different stages. And right, that, the stage that I'm in right now with my ear, it's the worst. So it, it's, I can hear myself more than what I should. I know I probably sound crazy right now, but if you could just put yourself in my shoes for like 30 seconds. Just try to imagine and relate and understand. This shit is serious. This shit is it's crazy and it's annoying the fuck out of me. And um, I've been convinced. I've been convinced to make an appointment. Go check it out. Go see it. And I'm not a doctor person. I'm not a shot person, a doctor person, a pill person. I'm just like a thug it out type of person. It, this too shall pass, okay? I'm that type of person. So, uh... I'm like, you know what? I do got insurance. <sighs> Let me go get it checked out, right? Like, right now as we speak, you guys, it's like on and off. I hear myself way more than what I should. And it's only one ear. Thank God it's only one ear. It's my left ear. And it just sounds as if I have water in my ear. It sounds as if I'm literally laying under the faucet and water is in my ear. So that's one stage, or that's really the third stage, because that's like... What's happening right now hasn't even been happening for the past one to two years. But what's been constant is I can like do my head like this, like tilt my head 
and I hear whatever is in my ear move and move as if it's trying to drain itself y'all this is draining me trying to explain because I just don't know if you understand but I hear it moving but nothing's coming out and and not nothing's coming out because it's, it's been there it's still there so that's the second stage another stage or maybe that was the first stage that was like my first time realizing yo what the fuck is going on with my ear because I, I would do this and I'm like something's in there moving or like it's draining or something wants to come out but nothing is happening I don't know so the second thing you guys is when I run and I realized this while I was working because while I work I run sometimes so I'm running and I can hear whatever's in my ear jumping like and it's it's fucking crazy call me crazy but it is crazy and this it's freaking me out i'm five minutes away uh from the place two minutes kind of behind my appointment but don't worry i'm about to hit sports mode real quick and get there in four minutes watch me do it but yeah uh i just wanted to make this a vlog because i just feel like us as people you know we don't like going to the doctor and we don't like going to go see what's wrong with you know small things that we notice or like the little symptoms before they become big symptoms and big problems and i just want you to know that i'm not going to the doctor you know by choice this is not 100 percent by my will okay i was convinced to do this and um if i cancel it it's a 50 dollar fee and i'm not i'm trying not to pay anything when it comes to your health when it comes to you know just longevity to have your hearing y'all that shit matter to me it matter and my daddy was like i bet you've been listening to loud music no i haven't sir because i ain't even get my tens in here yet i don't know if i want to put two tens or two fifteens or maybe two twelves, but I damn sure about to get some a system in this car because I don't thump like I want to thump how I used to thump. I used to be thumping, but I don't, like for real, for real, I haven't even been listening to a loud music like that. Like yeah, my music be loud, but my shit don't thump. And he know I can thump. I can make the neighborhood shake. Okay, I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous because what if they say some shit like? The worst I you know I don't even want to say it because I think I already said it one time and I don't want to say it one time too many but um I don't want to hear the worst you know and I don't want to hear I don't know I just want to hear I don't know what I don't want to hear but I want to hear maybe I just need to say I want to hear oh that is definitely the police um but yeah I'm just oh I don't think he's here for us maybe he's here for them because he has a safety jacket on i don't know i don't care sir you can make me late for my appointment i ain't scared of the popo call the popo -po. <sighs> okay enough of this i'm almost there hopefully they let me record inside of the room i'm gonna be in like i never y'all i literally google ear doctor and this popped up ear nose and throat i didn't even know they had a place like this for, for stuff like this I thought I was going to have to go to the damn hospital. Thank God it ain't the hospital, okay? And if these people tell me, ma'am, you got to get the COVID and, and they'll go, I mean, the COVID vaccine, not the COVID, you got to get the COVID vaccine. Okay, at this point, I'm just overdoing it. You see how I can get dramatic and, and go crazy? I'm almost there. I'll see you when I get there, or you'll see me. We'll meet again when I get there. It's worth it. It's for my health. It's to figure it out. And see, like now, my ear isn't doing anything. So you know, like in the car when I told you, it sounded like something was in my ear. Now, it doesn't seem that way. So my baby had basically brought to my attention, and my sister also said, you know, here and there, like, why are you yelling? Like sometimes I be yelling, 
and I don't even be noticed that I'm yelling. It's just I feel like I hear myself way too much than I should, so I speak louder. But y'all, I'm gonna have to tell the doctor all this information, and I'm gonna tell the doctor like, look, I'm gonna explain to you what's going on, but I could be, you know, being a little bit dramatic, cause I'm a dramatic person. Off the gate, I gotta let him know. Period. But um, yeah, hopefully I can record you guys back there, just so I don't have to like do a recap and just come to you and like tell you everything because, child. If this was a memory place, we'll be checking on my memory too. But no. Nah. Um, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, and uh, yeah, I'm nervous. This battery has two notches. I don't want to die it out completely, so I'll see when I get it. All right, you guys, this is what the room looks like. She doesn't really want me to be recording in here, but come on, you guys. It's J Squad, it's Plum Squad, it's me. By the way, I'm not sitting over there. I'm sitting over here. She says, sit where you feel comfortable, and this is where I feel comfortable. I don't wanna be in that damn chair. No, God, please, no, no! I don't wanna be in this room, to be honest. But I am, it's fuck. <sighs> All right, the doctor's gonna come to that door in a minute. Okay, so that was uncomfortable. It wasn't like like on a scale from one to ten, with one being not so uncomfortable and ten being like extreme uncomfortable. That was like a a four point sixty-eight ninety-nine. <laughs> no, but for real, that was uncomfortable. So, what he did basically, you know, they asked me questions about, you know, how long it's been happening and what actually do I feel. And then um, he told me to come sit in that black chair. Fuck. And y'all, I tried to record him saying all of this stuff, but my fucking flash came on. Like, I exposed myself. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just fuck it. So then I got in that black chair, y'all, and he was trying to look in my ear, but he could not see because your girl had wax in her ear. And I understand, I don't understand how I had wax in my ear because I thought I cleaned it, you know, a few days ago with a Q-tip. But I have heard, you know, don't use a Q-tip. So I used to use Barbie pins to clean up my ear, like, years ago. And then I went uh, to just using Q-tips. But, of course, you know, you're not supposed to use Q-tips. But I'm like, okay, what the fuck? How, how am I supposed to clean my ear? You know what I'm saying? How am I supposed to get the wax out if I don't put nothing in to get it out? So, like I said, it was it's all in my left ear. Nothing's wrong with my right ear. But he wanted to look in both, you know. So, um, he tried to look in both my ears. Couldn't see because I got wax. He looked in my nose. He didn't say shit. So, I guess my nose is good. He told me to open my mouth, breathe through my mouth. I guess my breathing is good, too. He wanted to, like, feel on my throat. I guess my throat is good too. <laughs> um, so then he was like, he's gonna get the wax out. He pulled out two different tools, and the tools. I, I wish I took a picture of the tools. I just want you guys to see everything. Um, so he pulled out like these, this one tool that looked like some scissors, but it kind of like came out like a stick, and it had like this small, like little pinchy thing at the end of it and then he pulled out another tool that looked like something i have at the dentist and that was just like more of a scraper so he had to pull something out of here and scrape something out of here y'all don't judge me okay i am very open with you guys but i cannot believe that shit came out my ear what he pulled out my ear he said it was hard and he believed that what he pulled out of my ear the reason why i felt like it was moving and jumping is because like it probably like came a few 
I don't even want to say inches. It probably like came a little bit away from my eardrum and then it kind of went probably went back to my eardrum. But he said that what he pulled out was sitting on my eardrum, right? So he pulled it out and then he scraped out, you know, whatever was on like sitting on my eardrum here. So if you are using Q tips, you guys, we gotta stop using Q tips. He literally said that the wax pushes itself out, you know what I'm saying? And I have small ear canals. You know, some people have really big ear canals. He said that he literally pulled something out of someone's ear that was that big. That's fucking huge. But, of course, they probably had bigger ear canals. He said some people only get their ear cleaned out like four to five times out of the year. So, think about it. Because I literally be trying to clear, clean my ear like, you know, two weeks, three weeks, at least twice a month. I try to clean my ear out. But, you know, all honesty, you don't even have to clean your ear that much all honesty and also um again he said that the wax you know inches itself out and usually it'll come out so far that all we will really need to do is like just to get like a rag or some tissue and just wipe it out from here y'all I'll be way deep in that thing i'm talking about deep in it i'm talking about way deeper than the ocean I didn't schedule me another appointment because whatever he did, whatever was obviously sitting on my eardrum, um, I hope it works. And then I was in there and I did like my little head tilting thing because usually when I tilt my head, I can hear it like touch my eardrum or move, whatever. And I didn't hear it. I feel good. You know, he asked me, does it uh, hurt when I chew and... and open my mouth none of that stuff was happening to me so i feel like i paid a hundred dollars for the doctor to clean my ear totally worth it because what was in my ear that shit is scary like if i had something to save it i should have asked could i take it fuck i should have brought it with me i know i'm i'm weird i am weird i don't care but yeah i'm about to go home edit this video for you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video this is like one of those weird type of vlogs but hey it's a part of my life and you know i wanted to share this with you guys whatever make sure you are subscribed to my channel like comment share subscribe i already said that why am i repeating myself y'all i just feel good like I like he fixed my problem i pray to jesus that he fixed my problem because I, I can't pay another hundred dollars for a copay let me put my seat belt on hope you guys are being safe staying clean this is some baby powder hand sanitizer yo this shit smells so good oh it smells just like a damn baby it smells so good but yeah you guys i love you Mwah. hope that you're having a great day a blessed day and i'm sending out to this video peace nah i ain't conceited I i'm a different breed it catch you slipping best belief i don't need no reason i'ma cut the ties ho turn your wife to my hoe just focus on you baby girl <laughs> j vibes you know the vibes you know the fuck going on and i'm out this bitch